Watching this, uh, this video isn't going to be quite as dramatic as the title may, may have make, has made it sound. But keep watching, it's going to be a slightly personal info, updates on things that have been going around. Uh, my life and my family's life and how it's going to affect all of us. It's not going to affect anybody. Um, but what I'm planning to do coming up, I, basically here's, here's what this actually is. I, uh, I have one hour right now before I have to go do other things. And so I grabbed my camera, I grabbed my tobacco supplies. If you're used to watching tobacco related content, cigars and tobacco pipes and bourbon, that sort of thing. Um, I'm filming more of those videos to do some great updates and can continue putting out the greatest content on the face of the earth. But, uh, so I had one hour and I was grabbing all of my stuff, taking it over to there. You can't really tell, but that's my shooting barn right now where I shoot videos. And I, uh, I was taking all the stuff over there one hour it was taking longer than I thought and um, I wanted to do just kind of an overview an update on like the personal side because I don't do a lot of that on this the Suburban Pilgrims channel it's mainly just you know tobacco related content and stuff and so I started shooting one of those videos and then I thought well heck I'll just go live and spend my one hour doing this because one hour probably isn't enough to uh, to shoot the other content I wanted to shoot so Anyways, what I wanted to do is walk around. I'm out here in uh, on our Tennessee property, here in Tennessee, believe it or not. And um, Blackburn is what it's known as. Well, that's what it's called. And so I wanted to give a, a tour of the property, a little update, and chat a little bit about why it's been taking me. Oh man, just so, how, what bit, hmm, why it's been so much going on lately, what we've been doing, that sort of thing. Let me figure out, I always have to do this. This is what makes live videos the worst. I always have to figure out how and it's on here. It's somewhere. Well, maybe nobody's, oh, maybe nobody's commented. Maybe nobody's chatted yet. Maybe that's why. All right, well, if you're watching this live, say something in the chat, will you? So I can see how this works. I, I don't, oh yeah, there you go, thanks. Levi, that's a great comment. Okay, so that's how it works. They just pop up, I don't have to do anything. I was overthinking it. All right, so let me start. I'm gonna walk you through our Blackburn property. Lots has changed if you've watched any of the previous updates to our Blackburn property. Uh, a lot has changed since then. And if you wanna watch more of the Blackburn updates, you can, I have a, a separate channel called Blackburn. I think it's called Blackburn Farmstead. You've just searched Black, Blackburn Farmstead in YouTube. I think you'll see it pop up. Oh, a cigar. Dang, that's a good idea. Maybe I should go get a cigar. Yeah, I should. Of course I should. Of course, then I have uh, two hands being occupied, but that's okay. A cigar would be better. Join me as I get a cigar, won't you? I'm gonna take you down to the barn that I film tobacco videos in, so that should be thrilling beyond, beyond words. So uh, in a nutshell though, before I take you on a tour of the property and what's been going on there, uh, it's for the most part just been insane work trying to get the thing in order mainly for my wife i've had a lot of computery type work i've had to do work wise and so i haven't been able to help a ton but uh i'm reading comments now so i keep getting distracted all right let me get this down get a cigar read some comments and then take you on a tour this will be much better this is a better approach i wonder if i can set my phone on my camera without it dropping you're all gonna fall down, that's for sure. That probably is not a good idea. Well, this is what makes live videos terrible. We can do that. Oh, that's gorgeous. All right, let me show you something here too while we're at it. Oh, so should I do a pipe or cigar, folks watching? And how do I get, oh, there we go. Pipe or cigar. Let's see, I don't know, what would you say? What would you recommend? First, next comment, pipe or cigar? One vote for pipe, two for pipe. Okay, we'll do a pipe. Uh, my kids got me this new pipe bag. It's from uh, Holds, which is a, a local place in Alabama, not too far from us. Look at this thing. I just wanna show you this. I really wanna show you my toy. This thing, it's a legitimate tobacco pouch. So it has places for your pipes, cigars actual tobacco the thing smells amazing so i was gonna do an actual like official video 
setting that up. And I did find a little bit of good tobacco for my pipes. So actually a pipe sounds delicious. I haven't had a pipe in a while. All right, let's see. Help, you can help me decide which pipe to use. Let me grab one more. All right, I'll give you four options. So I have, uh, well, you can't really tell a whole lot about them. So we'll go one, two, three, four. First comment wins the vote. This is exciting content. What else would you want to do for sure? Okay, one for sure. One for sure got it first. But then, I, then somebody said four, and I'm going to go with four. <laughs> I don't care what you say. This one's smaller and easier to hold in my mouth without having to hold it. So that's what, what's what I'm going to do. I think I have just enough tobacco for just one bowl. So this should work out great. Just great. Just dandy. And then we'll walk around our place here, show you the updates on what's, uh, what's new on Blackburn, on the work, on why it's taken so long to get content out and, uh, and all that jazz. Okay. Wow. I just made a real mess. You ever, uh, has anyone ever, can you even see the mess? There's just tobacco every, everywhere. Has anyone ever packed a pipe without getting uh, like extra tobacco everywhere? I don't know if it's possible. The first lighter I grab, oh, this is a good one. This is a, does it, oh yeah, okay. Okay. All right. Mm. Whoever suggested getting a Piper cigar, well done. I don't know why I didn't even think of that. Six and a half minutes in. This is going to be a fairly long video. So, uh, also, do you see how... I'm just curious. I'm curious for me for the future. Because I want your money, as you know. That's the only reason I do this. There's a way to do paid chats live, and I don't know how it works. You don't have to pay me money to chat, but do you see, those of you watching this right now, is, do, you, do you see an option for like, because I think the way it works, you pay money and your chat gets like posted to the top or something like that. Does that even make sense? Anyone see that as an option? I want to make it an option in the future if it's available, but I don't know if it's available or if I have to do something. I should probably ask YouTube or Google instead of you, but you're right there. So and what are you doing? You're just sitting there watching me. All right. Let me get this lit up. Mmm. Mmm. Super chat. All right. You know what it's called. Yeah. So that's not even an option. I don't know how to add it. I need to figure that out. Oh, well, I'll do it later. Um, you have to turn it on somehow. Yeah. But somehow that's the problem need to figure out how because uh i need all your money so we can finish this renovation is what i need okay let me grab a lighter and we'll take a tour oh whoever just said um you should open a small cigar shop on there that would be really cool because the history of the place i completely agree and that's actually part of the plan i want to grow tobacco out here in small batches and make blackburn tobacco um, sell it online potentially, but also have a shop out here where people can come because we have this big barn I'll show you and um, people can buy tobacco products. I want to start carving my own pipes, you know Just future talk. Did I grab the lighter? I sure did. It's already in my pocket. Okay Let's hit the road With our feet So this old barn here will eventually be my office Believe it or not oh, Right now it's a shooting location um but after we get done with the house proper we're planning to uh i'm planning to make that this is gonna be cool okay listen to this here's the big plan so i'm gonna make that my studio slash office uh for editing work that's what i do for a living and um and it also have i want to make it it doesn't matter what i want to make it so that'll be a cool place when people come to visit probably i don't know how we'll do it but uh, if you want to come out of the property and buy tobacco products, that'll be there. I'm thinking of doing like a, an experience of sorts where you come out, you can get tobacco products. Um, and then I would like to do, if, if those of you who are interested in the area, maybe do a little shoot, a little video where we smoke tobacco pipes or 
cigars and have a little conversation. And I use that in some of the content. But then I have this one room inside. This is actually what I'm most excited about, just for me selfishly. Holy cow. I feel so winded trying to talk and walk. Okay, so, oh, this cigar. Well, no cigar today. I've got my pipe. This is, um, which pipe is this? It's called the Dr. Grabo Royal Duke. I don't know the tobacco. I've had the tobacco for a long time, and I'm not sure what it is. But let me show you this room right here. Uh, this is going to be what I keep calling the gentleman's lounge, although I've had people tell me that that doesn't sound very family friendly. But it's just going to be like a hangout room. It's going to be super masculine, leather, uh, leather, what do you call them, <laughs> chairs. Uh, there's a big fireplace there. It's going to stay super rustic. This is the most original room in the house. And what I'm planning to do, one thing that I absolutely love that uh, you may not know about is chess. It is something I play a lot. And so I, I have, I want to get an old chess board and a really cool gaming table. And what I'm hoping to do is if somebody just wants to come out for the experience, I don't know what it's called. I don't know what it'll be, but you come out, you want to get some tobacco products, smoke a pipe, hang out, have a conversation, do a video, and hopefully play a game of chess or 12. That would be like my ideal kind of situation here. Um, but let me show you a little quick update here on the house, because I, I know there's a few people that watch the channel that are interested in what's up, what is being done on the house itself. I'll start outside here. Mmm, dang, this is good. Why I don't have a tobacco pipe in my mouth all the time, I don't know. Holy cow, I forget how good these are. I'll make this rather quick in case you're not interested, but for the most part, we, for the next five, 10 minutes, I'm just gonna show you an update on the house. So we ripped off the front porch that used to live here. It's gone, it's in the burn pile, which is in the back. Um, we've also, when I say we, by the way, I'm talking primarily about my wife because she's done 98.910% the number sure is of the work here while I've been editing. So um, in between these beams here goes what is called chinking. You can see a little bit of the old stuff there. That is probably really old. And um, that goes in between to insulate in between the boards, the beams, the logs, whatever you want to call them. And so we've had to remove all of that because it has to be all replaced. That was quite the dang process. Every one of these, all the jinking had to be removed inside and out. And you can see there's a lot of these beams, old beams from 1802. They're all over the place. They go all the way up to our bedroom, what will be our bedroom, and then in this room. So that was quite the process. We also sandblasted these beams to get 200 years of dust and gunk off of them to reveal their natural color and sandblasted the original floors, but that left the beams with this peach fuzz, so my wife had to go in with um, these sanders, hand sanders, and sand them twice with 80 grit and then 100 grit, every board, and, it, and she's a perfectionist, so she like sanded the heck out of them. I sanded a couple of boards, I came out here and I was like, I'll help you, and uh, she came over and was like, you don't do them well, <laughs> and, and so I didn't do them anymore. Um, oh, mm, hold on a moment. Mm. Let's just take a moment to appreciate this pipe. This is delicious. This is just for me, this pause. Oh, it's so good. All right, so this will be the kitchen. Uh, we got electric in, we got, we got electric in and plumbing finished, at least as finished as it can be until we get uh, the house more complete. But they have all the lines run, all the electric ran. Uh, the roof is on and complete on the new addition. And you can see there, look at that. I didn't even notice this. They have spots, not even sure what lights are going there, but there's lights there. That's awesome. And they did a ton of outlets for us. Um, our windows got in a while ago. They're not installed, but uh, there they are. Um, this, oh, quick story of interest. 
you see this wad of wire? It's a 12 to 1,000 foot roll of wire. Our electrician came by and, uh, and we paid just to let, just whatever. We paid just around $700 um, a roll of that stuff. With tax and everything out the door, it was close to $700. And then our electrician came and said, I don't mean to make you guys feel bad. Did I ever tell you the story? I don't know. But he said last year, exactly a year ago, I paid, I think he said $230 a roll for that stuff. And that's basically been how this whole process and project has gone. Everybody who comes in here is like, oh yeah, last year you would have paid two bucks for this. And we paid, I don't know, $750,000 for something that cost $2 last year. That's how it feels. Everything has gone up. We're basically building at the worst time. That's not why you're watching this, are you? For my woes and pains. Um, anyways, that's, that's the gist of it. Uh, oh, the chimney. Let me show you the chimney. That's exciting. That's been the big work as of the last few days. Oh gosh. So if you watch one of the previous videos on this channel, there's a video from, I don't know, a while ago where we took this old chimney down. It was a brick chimney and um, it's finally being rebuilt. It's looking pretty dang good. It matches the other side, which is an, an original chimney. This one was not as old and it was, uh, it was falling apart, so we had to replace it. But So uh, pretty much my wife and whoever we can snag to help has been um, laying rock here, this stone. And then we have to go back through and start from scratch and add in, you know, the uh, you know, whatever that stuff is that goes in there. That's the technical term for it, is the whatever that goes in there. My wife has been way the heck up there, which I hate. I don't mind going up in the lift, but she, uh, I don't like standing on that thing at all. It's creepy, but she's only two foot one, so she doesn't mind. Okay, that's it. I mean, I can show you a lot more. The things that excite me now, it's insane, I guess, but like just having the electric box out here, it's so thrilling. The waters ran and, you know, like plumbing. Oh my gosh, it's so comfortable and cool under there. It's a very warm day here today. All right, I'm gonna go back to my smoking barn and uh, set the camera down. And then we can really cool up and have a, a good wholesome chat, eh? Oh man. Oh, that is so stinking good. Okay. I'll show you my walk down there. Oh, let me show you this little secret item that we found. I mean, we've known about it for a while. It, right over here, come around the corner. Look at these, by the way, I mean, we never had this stuff in California. Oh, this one's not too bad. Some of these vines out here though, if you're from the area, you know what I'm talking about. The thorns, here we go, look at this. Wish I could zoom in on live. I don't know if it'll focus, probably not. Let me see if I can get this to focus. Look at those thorns. Gosh dang it, and you don't notice them. And they're on these vines that just go up in these trees and come down to the ground. They, good Lord, they're bad. Anyways, look at this thing. It, we've determined, we think it's a 50, was it 53 or 63? Those of you that know old Fords, I'll try to show you. Well, I can't really show you much detail. That's too bad, but it is such a cool truck. It's an F100. And um, it's technically, so our property line runs right through the middle of this truck. So I think we know who owns it. I think we know, I think I know who owns it. That's what I was trying to say. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping we can pull it out of there and clean it up a little bit. I mean, maybe not do a restoration because I don't know what the heck I'm doing with that sort of thing, but it'd be cool to just fix it up a little bit and display it because it's a cool old truck. Okay, now, you know, I might actually have time to uh, shoot a real video here. So I'd like to do because I'm hoping to get some real content up this week. So, mm, one moment, please. Mmm.
Uh, you know what? You know what? I don't care what you say. I don't think there's any competition. A pipe is so much better than even the best cigars I've ever had. I just, there's something about the pipe tobacco that to me just can't be beat. I need to do more uh, tobacco pipe content. Anyway, so uh, I wanna put up a bunch more content. My goal for this year is to take this channel way more seriously. I'd like to get the channel to over the 50,000 subscriber mark, which is, seems daunting to me because um, I've been so hit or miss on the channel where I'll take it seriously for a little while and then I get distracted by life and I can't, but which has just happened recently. But I really would love to build it to a point where I can dedicate some, some real time to it. Um, so, that's, <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you that. It's just what I really wanna do. Um, but it's just, uh, this house is taking a bit of uh, the distractions. Uh, it, it throws a lot of distractions out this way. But that's part of what I'm trying to work on is being disciplined and, and working on things that are important to me. Because there's always things that come up in life that will distract you from what really matters to you. Always. There's things that scream at you that aren't really as important as the quiet things that matter to you. It's like the things that deep down you want to do are quiet and can easily be pushed away. And then things that scream at you aren't, you know, they seem very important, but they're not really, uh, I mean, our house is important. It's like, we've got to get it done, but I'm trying to keep, you know, trying to, I'm trying to stay focused and I'm trying to talk with tobacco in my mouth. All right. Let me read through some of your uh, comments here. That's always fun on live videos when you watch them back and they're not live anymore. Let me see. Chess is fun. My wife and kids think I'm really good. Not true. They're just bad. <laughs> My favorite, my favorite guess, uh, chess games are playing really bad people. Mm, 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 mm. Let's go, Brandon. Mm. I, 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 I thought about doing more like, oh, I don't know. Would it be interesting to make the, no, it wouldn't. I'll think about that. Whatever. Um, hey, when you get the house done, will you rent out your RV sites for people who want to come for a few days? Well... So, hmm, yeah, I'll, I, there, I have, I'll, I will, <laughs> when we get closer to the end, we have some plans. That's all I can tell you is we have some plans for something like that. I can't really talk more about that right now, but, but possibly, um, kind of, sort of. Let's see. Ohio woods are filled with briars like that. Oh, is that what? No way. Is that what those are called? Are those briars? You guys ever watch, uh, you, it, those of you who have, well, whatever. Some of you may know that I'm an, an obsessive Disney person, classic Disney, like Walt Disney produced films and parks uh, I love. So Walt Disney did a movie called Song of the South, which is now culturally, um, canceled just idiotic whatever it's i've never even seen the whole movie but it drives me crazy because it's it doesn't matter i could get on a rant about it but um the the attraction at disneyland if you have been there uh splash mountain is based around that that movie and uh there's a briar patch that it, it takes place in the film and in the ride that's what you when you go down the big hill you go into a briar patch and uh, is that what these are around here? If you're from the South, dang, that would be, I would appreciate those things a lot more if that was like Briar. If that's what they were talking about in the movie, Song of the South, the Briar Patch was that stuff. That's kind of cool if so. All right, let me read more here. That's what this vlog is now. It's just me reading stuff. I can never keep my pipe lit long enough before lighting it up again. Yeah, that is a thing. Oh, mine might, speaking of the devil, hmm, I think mine just went out. Uh, yep, it did. Uh, as long as you keep, generally, I find that as long as you keep some kind of air moving through your bowl, it'll stay lit okay, so if you kind of keep it in your mouth and just do a little bit of puffing, it seems to stay lit longer, but I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's see here. 
My grandfather had the best pipe smoke. Good memories. I tell you what, I don't know why this is. I've asked this question before. Maybe you know why. For some reason, it's true with cigars and tobacco pipes. They always, the aroma coming off of them smells so much better if you're not actually smoking it. So like when I smoke a tobacco pipe with my dad, say for instance, I will often allow him, allow him, that was stupid. I'll allow him. I'll wait to light my pipe for him to light his for a little while just because I love that smell from somebody else's pipe. Like it smells good and it's delicious to smoke your own, but smelling somebody else's, like I'll walk by people sometimes, you know, you get near a cigar shop or something and somebody will have a cigar or a tobacco pipe and I'll smell it from so far away and the smell, the aroma is just delicious. It's never as good when you smoke it yourself. I don't know why. Um, all right, let's see here. What else? I was packing my pipe to lose, what? I was packing my pipe, oh, too loose when I first started and I had to relight it a lot. Oh yeah, that's probably true. I used to do that too. I used to pack a pipe very loose and I pack it a lot tighter now. Yeah, that probably makes a difference too, huh? Huh, as if you can respond verbally. I'm looking to buy a pipe. I love the style of the number one pipe you had. Oh yeah, a straight classic pipe, but I can't find many online. What's that called? That is my, uh, well, it's, it is mine, but this is the Bing's favorite. Um, who makes it? It's made in Italy by, you know, I don't know. You could look it up. I'm sure other people know. My wife got me this as a gift. Yeah, this is, this is probably my favorite pipe. It, this is my favorite pipe, but this pipe I smoke more often. Um, I'm going to take my glasses off so you can see my eyes. Then I can connect with you better and maybe you'll watch longer and it'll get me more views. That's the goal. So yeah, this one just feels amazing in your hand. I love the, I love the design of it, the long stem. It doesn't matter. I love that pipe. But this one I like, or I smoke more often just because it's so light and small. It's easier to do this. So I can walk around with it easier. That's all. Did it go out? No. I get it back. Mmm. Oh. Okay, let's see what else. I'm looking to buy a pipe. Oh, I just read that one. Uh, let's see. Have you ever been to Leaper's Fork Distillery? I sure have. I love that place. The bourbon's pretty expensive, but it's good. Um, oh, I live in Franklin. That's all. Franklin. That's awesome. We love Franklin. It's just so dang expensive now, but man, that place is awesome. Love your channel. I go to Crown Cigars Weekly. Stop by sometime. I'll buy you a cigar. Oh, you sweetheart. Steven Pasky? Pasky? Uh, that sounds awesome. I have not been to Crown Cigars, but I would look that up. That'd be fun. Um, hey, from Eastern North Carolina, Greg here. What are you smoking? A tobacco pipe, Greg? Are you blind? Can you not see? What's a tobacco pipe? I don't know what the tobacco is. That's probably what you're actually asking. And I don't know where I, what I did with it. Oh, here it is. This won't be helpful to you because I think I got this in, uh, yeah, it's called Proper English Blend, but I think it was like a proprietary blend. You know, a lot of tobacco shops will blend their own. I think I got it in, um, in Sonoma, California. There's a great tobacco shop in Sonoma. Used to be, I think it's gone now. All right, let's see. Hello, Calhouns from Sacramento. Oh, Sacramento. Oh, actually, I don't like Sacramento, <laughs> but I love the surrounding areas. Um, but we used to live right next to Sacramento, so. We called them briars too. That's really cool. So those thorns are briars. Mm, interesting. Your video, the pipe tobacco makes you, fa oh, this tobacco, this pipe tobacco makes you fat and lazy. Please make more content like that. You're great at it, and it really makes me think. Thank you. I want to make more like that. I love that video, and that's the goal, to make more like that. That was the goal of today, actually, but it's, I'm just running out of time. I have a boy named Malachi as well. Oh, that's cool. I've heard you call one Z as well. I love that you call kids one. I hear you. It's great. I hear you call one of them kids Z. Yeah. Uh, Zealand. We have a kid named Zealand. We have one name. We have one called Zealand. <laughs> That's fantastic. Um, is that for Ezekiel? No, it's for Zealand. Um, and we spell Malachi a little bit different. We spell it M-A-L-A-K-I. 
because we wanted to, uh, originally we wanted his nickname to be Kai, and it never stuck. All of our other kids have nicknames. I have a daughter, Erica. I call her Rose or Miss Rose. Z um, for Zeeland. Malachi is the one who didn't really get a nickname. Although, <laughs> I call him Johnny. <laughs> I mean, I forget about it. That's I never call him Malachi. I always call him Johnny. Um and I don't, the, it came from, people look at me sometimes, I forget, because they'll, like, we'll introduce our kids, and then they hear me the whole day calling him Johnny, and they're like, I thought his name was Malachi. And I, so, um, Johnny comes from, I love old radio shows. One in particular that I really like is called uh, Fibber McGee and Molly. And on that show, there's a character named, uh, oh, what's his name? Old, old prospector? Nope. Old man. Old some. He, he just plays an old kind of hillbilly man. And uh, he comes in and always calls him, hey, Johnny. And I loved that. And so I started calling Malachi Johnny, and it just it totally stuck. So he is for, forevermore Johnny for me. Oh, I see. Is it gone? I always look for a little, um, a little bit of glow in the bowl. Just a slight pull in. If there's a little bit of glow, I can get it going. But I think it's all out. Mm. Let me get my... Uh, Oh, dang. Let me get my fat man tamper here. Tamper this down a bit. This bag is so full, I need to go through it and organize it, which I can do now. There's uh, this little pewter fellow is from Williamsburg, Virginia. And it's the form, uh, they actually found these old forms, like uh, their original, I don't know what you call them. I think they're called forms, right? Uh, whatever they're called, they found a bunch of these old ones from like the 1700s and uh, re-poured uh, pewter into them. So it's uh, it's kind of original-ish, original look. Wonder if you could stay right here. Nope. Oh yeah. Will he get in the in the shot? Let's see. Oh yeah. We'll just have him hang out there. The fat man. That makes for a great shot. He's gonna fall over in a second. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's so good. You know what I'm realizing right now? I've been live, get, get, get live for 32 minutes. An hour long is long. But the thing that I hear is the longer you go live, the better because you have more of a chance for more people to watch the video. And the more people that watch the video, the more YouTube likes it and the more the YouTube will push it. So. I'm trying to grow the channel, you know, that's the goal. So I gotta keep it going, but it's a little bit annoying to hold. I'm gonna find, I wanna sit down is what I want, but I'm gonna set this down somewhere. I actually bought an iPhone holder specifically for live videos. And of course it's over at the trailer and I really don't wanna walk over there. Mm, might be worth it though, huh? Well, I'll just set this down here. Oh, that's fine. That looks great. Give me a moment, please. Mmm. Oh. Uh. Mmm. It's so good. So, I want to figure out... <laughs> I want to figure out Super Chat. I want you to pay me money to comment. <laughs> that's so horrible. You would think there'd be an easy way on here. I mean, that's not the point of this video. I'll, uh, okay, live. We're still good. Whatever. I'll figure it out later. Going live on YouTube is probably not the time to figure out YouTube. All right. I have no other things to talk about. I had just, I started filming a quick vlog update with my phone walking around the property and I thought, well, I should just go live. That's good to do. And now I'm 35 minutes in basically and I've ran out of things to talk about. So basically, hold on. This is really good. Mm. Uh, um, when I meet with people in person, I'm not very talkative. I don't really love conversation. I like conversation. That's not true. But I'm not very good at it. So I rely on other people to drive the conversation somewhat. I usually just ask a bunch of questions of the person I'm conversating with, and then they just take over and start talking. But when it's just me, I mean, you, you can't talk, so I'm relying on your comments here, so. Uh, let's see, let's read some more comments together, shall we? Okay, 
here we go. One day I shall smoke a cigar with you, good sir. Love from England, that would be awesome. I would love to smoke a cigar with somebody from England because as does every American, your accents are really cool to us here in the States. Do, uh, if you're from anywhere in Europe and you have an accent that is appealing to Americans, does that work the same way? What's an American accent like to somebody from England? Is it just like, yeah, you sound like a Yankee. Is it just super like, is it? So for, uh, for me, being from California and now moving to Tennessee, somebody who has a strong Southern accent is extremely strong, sometimes almost hard to understand because the, the dialect, it's not that bad, bad. It's not bad at all. I think the accents are cool, but it's very strong to somebody who, doesn't, who hasn't grown up with it. So I wonder if it's the same way for somebody from England who has what sounds like a very refined accent to somebody like me from California. Does my California accent to you sound like what a Southerner sounds like to me? Does that make sense? Although you don't know what that sounds like to me, so that's a stupid question. All right, but that would be cool. I would enjoy that. I would, sound, I would feel like if we recorded a video together, you came here, I would sound more enlightened and, um, you know, just like I really know what I'm talking about if I had somebody like you with an accent on. That's how it works. All right. Your influence is far and wide. You got Vancouver, Canada at this end. Oh, that's cool. Vancouverans don't have much of an accent. You pick it up a little bit. So uh, I don't want you on the... <laughs> I'm just... It's okay. I will smoke with you any day. Will I? That's not true. Any day. It'd have to be scheduled out because I'm very important and very busy. It's not true. The first video I watched... Why, did, why won't this chat just stay up? It just keeps fading away and I keep having to tap it. Is there a way to not... Ugh. People who do live videos and try to figure out live videos as they're doing a live video drive me crazy and that's what I'm doing. Oh well. The first video I watched from you was The Surprising Dangers of Tobacco Pipe Smoking. I know. I wish, I wish all my videos had that level of interest and viewership. I loved it. I watched a few hours into pipe smoking right on the bat. I knew it was satire. Oh, that's good. That means you have a good sense of humor because I think I have a good sense of humor. <laughs> you got... Is it back? Oh, I mean, it is back. Is it working? The time isn't changing. Huh. Oh yeah, I think I'm back. Sorry, that was my daughter calling. <laughs> we have to leave soon. The chat's almost over. I have five minutes to get through. I'm gonna look at these last few comments. All right, let's see here. Uh, oh, there's quite a few comments. That's great. You got a pretty good laid back wisdom? Well, let my wife know about that. Um, hello from Southwest UK. That's cool. Hello from California. Aw. Ruth Martin. Oh, is this Ruth? It is Ruth. I know Ruth. Hi, Ruth. I think that's the Ruth that I know. Of course it is. What other Ruth Martin from California would be here? Ruth, you need to come out. Uh, the random thoughts, the comedic spin, the philosophy. Boy, you make me sound so much better than I actually am. It's all great. Thank you. Oh, Jared Gillis. Gosh dang it. Oh, Jared. Jared made our last house dreams come true. And, uh, boy, the Gillises. We miss you folks. Hello from India. That's amazing. Uh, I'm in, oh, I'm from Germany. That's cool. Dang it. People from all over this, boy, the world is weird that we live in right now that I'm in a barn in the middle of Tennessee talking to somebody in Germany in the UK and Canada. You know, this is side note. I got to go here in a minute, but. When I was a kid, I had, I gotta relight this. One moment, please. I'm still here, I'm just looking for my lighter. All right, when I was a kid, uh, the wind, this is where torch lighters come in handy even though it's failing me right now. But if this was a soft flame, there's no way. Oh, you know, it's out of butane. Ah. Uh, Oh well. Anyways, when I was a kid, I had a radio show 
a radio show, which was a tape recorder and a microphone from Radio Shack. And I used to record these radio shows on cassette tape. And my dad was a truck driver and I'd give him the cassettes to listen to at work. And that was like my audience. And um, I used to think, I really wanted to get into shortwave radio because I thought, how amazing would it be to sit in your room and actually do my radio show and actually have people listen from all over the place? And I think just a few, I mean, that wasn't that long ago. And now, basically, with technology, I'm doing just that. It's so strange how much the world has changed. Anyways, it's very, uh, very odd. Okay, let me see here. Hey, Jared, love your channel. Found it from this guy. Oh, look at that, Jared. Jared has an RV channel called All, All About RVs that has <sighs> absolutely... Here's the annoying thing about Jared, just so you know real quick. How much time do I have? Uh, three minutes. Um, Jared, we were introduced to each other through this channel, through Suburban Pilgrims, which I started years ago when my family and I first sold everything we owned in California and San Diego and we hit the road in an RV. We started Suburban Pilgrims. And Jared watched a couple of my videos and reached out and was like, hey, we'd love to meet your family. So we met up, we became fast friends, have been great friends, best friends ever since then. Best friends um, ever since then, it was years ago. So it started through this channel. And Jared at the time was going to start his own YouTube channel, which he did, and it did fine, it, it outgrew mine, but we were kind of close channel-wise, size-wise. Then he started this channel called All of Our, About RVs, and he now has, I don't know, a quarter million subscribers, some ridiculous number, which I'm so stinking jealous of. It makes me so angry. But, Jared, if you're still watching this, Andrew Hunter just told me that he found your channel through my channel. So basically, your success is due to me. So, <laughs> I want all your subscribers. It's basically it. I'm just jealous of Jared. Um, I told a British friend that I liked his accent, and he said, I don't have an accent. You have an accent. That's what everybody says. You're muted. Am I really? Is that true? Oh, I was. I, I think it's because I was on the phone call. I'm not right now, am I? I don't know. Um, or was, was Andrew saying that he found my channel through Jared? That's probably more likely. Anyways, we'll see you later. I'm going to bed. I am from Australia. And I do smoke a pipe myself. All right. Yes, I plan on coming out to see you all. Oh, good. That is the Ruth that I know. That's awesome. We look forward to having you out, Ruth. That sounds so stupid and formal. That's not how you talk to people. We look forward to having you out, Ruth. That's how people talk when they do live videos on YouTube. That's not real. That's stupid. Sorry, I take that back. I mean, we do want you out here. We're excited to see you, but I'm not talking conversationally. I'm talking YouTube, which always comes off as YouTube. Like, you can tell I'm talking YouTube, right? This isn't how I really talk to people. I kind of is. <sighs> Anyways, all right. All right. Oh, Jared just said he's sending all of his subs my way. Yes, please do. I want a quarter million subs overnight. Jeez, that's about how fast Jared's channel grew, too. Which is no, um, I mean, his channel's really good. That's the problem. He put in a ton of work and effort into building and growing his channel, and he did, and it grew really fast. And I just have not done that. I make it sound like, oh, I could do it if I did it too. It's not that easy. Not anybody can do that. Jared has a special sauce that I wish I had. I'm putting my gear away now because I've got to go back. I'm just going to keep, keep this rolling until I have to actually leave because, again, the longer I keep this going, the better. So YouTube says, who the heck knows? Nobody knows anything. All right, hold on. I gotta sit this down. No, I found. Oh, go here. Oh, Andrew is clarified. No, I found Jared's vlog from Suburban Pilgrims. You need to talk Jared into relaunching his vlog. All about RV is great, but I miss the vlogs. I 100% agree. I and, and actually, Jared's uh, talked about that. Well, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say what Jared's gonna do. I don't know. Oh, dang it! I just dropped all my goods. Um, but I know that that's something that. He liked to do. I think he enjoyed doing the vlogs as well. I loved his vlogs also. I agree. Like the All About RV stuff is fantastic, but uh, I don't care for <laughs> RV the way that Jared does. But the vlog stuff, yeah, I agree. Jared's got to get back on that. Jared, what are you doing? Why are you just sitting around doing nothing? We're waiting for you. All right. So this is my walk from, I, well, really the house. It, good Lord. How trashy does this place look? Very trashy. That's how trashy. Oh, real quick. I know I gotta go, but um, 
It's technically our day off today. My wife ran into town. I'm here with a couple of kids and we, I had an hour to spare. Look at this though. Flip around camera. This is some of the old stuff from our house that we've discovered that was left behind. Some cool artifacts in here. I'm excited to get them out and um, do something with them. There's a ton of, uh, ton of history on this land. Um, we actually have a literal books and lots of information. And look at this. I want to get one of the big plaques, but it's like actually registered. We just need one of the big plaques to make it official. But uh, there's a lot of cool stuff in here that we want to put on, dis on display. But uh, anyways, it's that's for another day. Lots of good stuff to go through there if you're into history like me. And then also, I think I've shown this in the video, but right over here is where Captain Blackburn himself, who was a Revolutionary War hero. It's actually uh, stories about him. Oh, it's windy. But this is where we pay respects to him. As you should, he was a, an actual Revolutionary War veteran hero. Um, so, super cool. There's actually uh, an organization that comes out here once a year to replace all of these flags. They have a little ceremony because I guess he's the only Revolutionary War um, grave marker in, at least in the county. I'm not sure how wide and far, but then a lot of his family are buried out here. I think there's eight people buried in this little cemetery. This is something we're planning to fix up as well and uh, you know, give it the respect it deserves. But um, it's just another one of those things that we gotta do. Got an old wagon here, all kinds of cool stuff. And this is um, this is the barn that we're gonna be eventually fixing up, probably selling tobacco goods and other things out of. And it'll also be, the goal is making an event space that can be rented, all kinds of stuff planned, but for now, it, it definitely needs some work. Ugh. And that's about it. This is the old homestead and our trailer, our home for now. All right, I made it back. Flip the camera. That was pretty good. 47 minutes. That was a long. That was a long vlog. Okay, time to go. I need to get my daughter. She's not here. She's all I'm waiting for. So I guess I'll. I mean, I have nothing else to talk about. But I'll just keep this going while I wait for her. I guess I should go in and let her know that I'm here. She may not know that I'm here and ready to go. You know, what? let me pop. Let me put this stuff away. That'll be entertaining content. Don't click away now. I'm going to put stuff away. This is embarrassing how filthy this is, but it gets... You know what I'm going to do, though? I'm going to forget that I put my tobacco stuff in there, and I'm going to be like, where the heck did I put that? Jeez. All right. Let me let Miss Rose know. Hey, Miss Rose, I'm ready when you are. Is the dog outside? I, I don't see her. Our dog is out somewhere to put her away but it's gonna show you um this barn is pretty dang cool i think i've shown this in some other videos but give you a quick little look little gander at this thing so this was and still is i said well it was a, an actual tobacco barn barn which is why all of these beams are here they would lay the tobacco leaves over to dry so uh our plan is to do that again at some point Right now, our big push is to have a home to actually reside in. But, uh, oh, look at this cool, this thing. I really like this old truck. The, it's actually dead right now. It's not quite functioning well, but we, we got it for the dump bed. Um, all those piles of dirt over there were used, uh, were moved with this. And I like it. This place is just so trashy right now, it's embarrassing. But it's going to be beautiful when it's done, so calm down. This, look at this, by the way. We found this, literally a bucket full of old nails, many of which are the old, let's see if I can focus on it, the old square nails. There's tons of them, and some of them we found, like this one, oh, that's not really that old, but some of them are like big stakes. That one's not. Some of them are so huge. But we just keep finding old stuff that it's hard to place the time on, you know? It's just old and rusted, but it doesn't mean it's necessarily old. Uh, 
but whatever. All right, I think I really have to go now. So thanks for watching. This was just a, uh, hopefully I'm back creating great, con <laughs> great content. I create such great content, better content consistently. That's the goal. But as you can tell, we're still doing a lot with the uh, house. So it's kind of going to be hit or miss until that's behind us. But I am trying to put out good quality content. If you have any suggestions for the kind of stuff you want to see, let me know. I need to get our dog. All right. Thanks for watching. How do I turn you off?